Has anyone ever come up to you and said, you're not creative? Yes. Guys, welcome to English Absorbed. My name is Jesse, and today we are going to be looking at a TV show called The Office. Now, a lot of you will already know The Office. It's a classic TV show that's actually based on a British TV show. Today, we are going to be using the American version to try to get a bit of vocabulary. So we're going to be learning the vocabulary to get something, cutting edge, on my dime, to stake something, to get cracking, to be somebody's ride, piss or get off the pot, and to pass out. Guys, TV and movies are a great way to improve your English because it's input. And to improve your English, basically you need to be doing two things, listening and reading. And movies are a great way to listen. While we're watching, we're going to be doing some shadowing to try to improve our pronunciation and our grammar. So you need to say what I say when I ask you to repeat. Then I'm going to play a little bit of The Office again and I'm going to pause it and you need to repeat what the character says. Guys, let's get cracking. Let's dive in. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that. I am totally blanking. What is the thing? Break Nobody tell him. What? No, why? You got it, you're so close. <laughs> now Jim is teasing Andy. He's saying nobody tell him because he can't think of something. And it's very frustrating when you can't think of something and nobody tells you. So Jim says, you got it. Meaning, come on, I think, I think you know it. You've got it. You're going to be successful. If you get it, then you understand or you're successful. I got it. So let's look at the way that Jim says this. You got it. You're so close. You got it. You're so close. Can you repeat after me? You got it, you're so close. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to play the show again. And what I want you to do is to shadow Jim. It's going to say shadow on the screen. And when it says that, what you can do is repeat exactly what Jim says in the way that he says it. Are you ready? Let's go. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that. I am totally blanking. What is the thing? Break Nobody tell him. What? No, why? You got it, you're so close. <laughs> Fantastic, next scene. You know what, I want this to be cutting edge. Okay, so Michael says, you know what, I want this to be cutting edge. If something is cutting edge, then it's very innovative, exciting, or the latest development in something. It's cutting edge, it's modern. Okay, let's look at the way that Michael says this. You know what, I want this to be cutting edge. You know what, I want this to be cutting edge. Can you repeat after me? You know what, I want this to be cutting edge. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to play Michael and I want you to shadow Michael. If you need to rewind a little bit and do it again, that's fantastic. Let's go. You know what, I want this to be cutting edge. Send the ad agency back down here and we'll do it on my dime. Okay, so Michael says, we'll do it on my dime. This is a way to say that you'll pay for something. If you do it on your dime, then you pay for it. Or you can do it on his dime or her dime, meaning that they will pay for it. Let's look at the way that Michael says it. And we'll do it on my dime. And we'll do it on my dime. Can you repeat after me? And we'll do it on my dime. Fantastic. I'm going to play Michael and I want you to shadow Michael. Let's go. And we'll do it on my dime. I'm willing to stake my entire reputation on it. Oh, I'm willing to stake my entire reputation on it. He is saying that my reputation is at risk to be won or lost. He is going to stake his reputation on this. So let's look at the way that he says it. 
I'm willing to stake my entire reputation on it. I'm willing to stake my entire reputation on it. Can you repeat after me? I'm willing to stake my entire reputation on it. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to play it again. It's going to say shadow on the screen and just repeat what Michael says in the way that Michael says it. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm willing to stake my entire reputation on it. We have three scenes to film, big scenes. We have a song to write, so let's get cracking. So let's get cracking. Michael says, let's get cracking. This is a great way to say, let's begin. And you can say it to a group of people or just one person. You can say, hey guys, let's get cracking. Let's start, let's begin. So Michael says it just like this. We have a song to write, so let's get cracking. We have a song to write, so let's get cracking. All right, repeat after me. So let's get cracking. Very good, one more time, let's get cracking. Fantastic, guys, let's shadow Michael. So let's get cracking. You're doing great, let's move on to the next scene. Pam is staying late tonight to uh, achieve her dreams. So, pretty proud of her. Unfortunately, she was my ride. You coming? <laughs> Unfortunately, she was my ride. Now what Jim means here is that Pam was going to drive him home in her car. She was my ride. So you can always ask people, do you have a ride home? Meaning, do you have a way to get home? And this is a way to offer them to come in your car with you so that you can take them home. You can give them a ride. It's a nice thing to do. So let's look at Jim one more time. Unfortunately, she was my ride. You coming? Unfortunately, she was my ride home. Repeat after me. Unfortunately, she was my ride home. Fantastic. Let's shadow Jim. Unfortunately, she was my ride You coming? Piss or get off the pot! <laughs> Meredith says something a little bit vulgar. She says, piss or get off the pot, which basically means make a decision. Either say yes or say no. Piss or get off the pot. It's a vulgar expression. Guys, let's go straight into it. Shadow Meredith, let's go. Piss or get off the pot. We're doing great, we have one more scene. I worked until about 2.45 a.m. And then I had to decide if I wanted to spend the night with Michael editing in his office and Dwight watching Michael edit in his office or drive home and probably fall asleep at the wheel and die in a fiery car wreck. I passed out on my keyboard trying to decide. <laughs> I passed out on my keyboard trying to decide. Now, Pam is saying that she was very tired and that she passed out. She passed out on her keyboard. To pass out means to lose consciousness and to fall asleep until you pass out on the keyboard. Okay, let's look at the way that Pam says this. I passed out on my keyboard trying to decide. I passed out on my keyboard trying to decide. Can you repeat after me? I passed out on my keyboard trying to decide. Very good. All right, I'm going to play it again and I want you to shadow Pam. You ready? Let's go. I passed out on my keyboard trying to decide. Guys, thank you so much for watching English Absorbed. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, I have a lot of other videos on learning English with TV and movies, so check them out. Remember to like and subscribe. My name is Jesse. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.